just made these strawberry shortcake balls. They are skinny dessert, so you can eat them with no guilt. There's freeze-dried strawberries in this, nuts, like a mix of nuts. Um, what else? Some oats and honey. And I did drizzle a little bit of white chocolate on top, but you don't have to do that because there'll be even less sugar if you don't. And you can make them vegan by using agave syrup instead of honey. And they are so delicious. They taste kind of like the strawberry shortcake ice cream bars that you get at the grocery store. They are so yummy. Hey you guys, it's Wednesday afternoon. Just got gas. I'm actually sitting by the pump right now still. Um, don't worry, nobody's waiting in case you were wondering. But I'm on my way to meet my good friend Aubrey. We're going to meet up for some sushi at Raw. I know, I go there all the time for sushi, but it is pretty much like the best in my area in my opinion. I love it so much. So we're going to go for happy hour and just get to catch up a little bit. This week has been so crazy busy. Don't even get me started. It's just been like one thing after another and it's been rainy and cloudy and moody and it's made me kind of rainy and cloudy and moody if you catch my drift. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to quickly come on here and say hi because I feel like I haven't really been talking to you guys that much and maybe I'll vlog a little bit while we're having some sushi. Nowhere near being done with my makeup, but I wanted to show you a blush favorite that I didn't mention last week. Last time I told you guys about the Stila cream convertible um, color and petunia. I have that on and then I also, I told you that I layer usually with a powder and the one that I've been using the most is this one and then a Lorac one, which I think these are not available anymore, but um, the Lorac Bake Matte Satin Blush in Exposed, which was like holy grail status for a while back in the older YouTube days. It's just a gorgeous glowy pink with a little bit of peach. And I feel like my new Pixi blush in the shade, it's a glowy powder blush in Peach Dew. This is very similar, um, like how it layers and how glowy and beautiful it is to these Lorac blushes in my opinion. See, it does have like a little bit of a sheen glow to it. I'll swatch it for you just so you can see it. Like see how it has that peachy glow and blend it out. It's, it kinda, I think this is gonna be so pretty for spring and summer too, cause it has that sun-kissed kinda look. I haven't blended it out completely, but this is what it looks like and I love it. I don't know why I keep vlogging after work instead of before work, <laughs> but I'm actually about to go and see my parents for dinner. I go to their house about one to two times a week to have dinner with them recently and also play with Bailey because I'm obsessed with Bailey. She is the smartest pup. I've already taught her to sit, do her paw, and lay down. She gets bigger and bigger every time I see her and I actually have her doggy bed in the back. My mom brought it to my house the other day when the doggies were playing so I'm gonna go have dinner with them and I got some wedding pictures to edit for my brother's wedding that I need to post on Facebook. I just took a few of whatever I could because since I was in the wedding um, of course, I couldn't take that many, so did what I could, and I'll post those and share those. And that's really it. Just another work day. I was trying to show you guys how cute she looked, but she, <laughs> she instantly is doing this. Oh, baby. Oh my gosh, I was trying to show how beautiful you look, honey. I'm at Michael's right now. I have to use a little reward coupon that's going to expire, but they have such cute, girly, Parisian-ish kind of stuff right now. It's so cute. Look at all this. Look how cute. I like the champagne bar sign, even this mirror. I love these scalloped baskets. 
plates too, but I have nowhere to put them. Michaels I did pick up this really cute little sign that says champagne queen and it's perfect for my friend Carissa whose birthday it is I just thought it would be really cute on her desk or at home somewhere I just think it's super cute and made me think of her and then I got her these two pixie palettes and then one sour candy and one chocolate candy because I wasn't sure which one she was going to love the most. So I got both. And then I got a really funny card for her too that I need to write in still. So I also got a few extra goodies at Michael's. Um, all of this was 40% off. All the Valentine's was 40% off and like their spring and florals were 40% off. Um, the Easter that I showed you guys and like I don't think the area with all the Parisian stuff was 40% yet but might be soon. But how cute are these little lip rings, but to use them on top of cupcakes like this. Or in some kind of cute baked, baked concoction that I'm going to make very soon. And then I'm also going to make, I had an idea, very similar. Like when I saw this in the Valentine area, I was like, oh my gosh, I was just thinking of doing something like little cake like this for Valentine's. And it was perfect because they're already in little heart-shaped tins instead of me having to find like a heart-shaped pan. Um, there's only four mini foil pans in each of these, which I realized a little too late when I got home. So that might be good though. Maybe I'll just make a recipe that doesn't call for too many. Anyways, I just thought they were super cute. And then these spoons, I got one set of pink and one set of red. For what they are, I'm, I mean, I'm glad I got them 40% off because I would never buy them full price. I think the full price was like $4.99, which is ridiculous <laughs> in my opinion. But they're, they are these really cute little, they almost look like little shovels, but they're hearts. And I just thought that they would be really cute in my either my tiered tray and like a little thing or in my coffee station. Everything is still completely blank canvas right now. I have not really changed everything over. I have a couple things I'm going to share that with you too in a second. Um, I have a couple things out on the table over there to start decorating for Valentine's, but I just haven't been inspired. And that's just how I am. Like I don't, I have to feel inspired when I decorate, even though you probably like, Melissa, you have like the same stuff every year, essentially. I, but I kind of switch it up. I do th different things and I have to be inspired or I'm not going to want to do it. <laughs> that's just how it is. I also got some watermelon licorice from the dollar spot or the dollar general i think is where i got these they're all right they're over here because i'm not really eating them okay look how freaking cute these bobble bar disney valentine keychains are i'm gonna take them out of the box in a second too so we can see them even better but my mom is the cutest and i came over um a day or two ago came home to these on exactly here i just left them here <laughs> exactly here uh, in my kitchen, it made me smile so big. And the Mickey one, I'm dying over the most because he has little kiss marks all over his face. Oh my God, Minnie's adorable too. Okay, let's get these out of the box because I got to see. Okay, if you weren't already dying over how freaking adorable these are, look how cute close up. I can't. And I probably will not use them as keychains because I don't want them to get hurt or for the little rhinestones to get lost. So I most likely will just display them in my beauty room because they're so stinking cute. Okay, let's start with Mickey. The little kiss marks on his face. This little thing of candy there. And the hearts all over his head. Oh my goodness. Okay, Minnie is pretty 
freaking cute herself too though because look at these balloons the attention to detail i've got to say very very cute look at the little pink um heart in the middle of her bow very cute thanks mama Okay, this might be a little torturous and don't pay attention to my nails because I really need to get them done. <laughs> You'll be seeing that next week. Um, but the reason this is torturous to tell you guys about these is because they are sold out. It was a limited edition flavor, but it was very popular. So I have a feeling it's going to come back. And because it, I feel like it's going to come back eventually, I want to tell you my feelings on it so you don't miss it next time because it is so good. So if you like the chocolate brownie i think it's called chocolate batter or chocolate brownie batter built puff now puff oh I'm dropping it now puff is like a different variety than the regular built bars i like the puff because it's more airy and more marshmallow like um the other built bars are a little bit more dense i guess would be the right word but let me show you one of these opened because they literally have brownie chunks on top of the bar and it just gives it an extra something but really it is the base is the brownie batter built puff and that one is always around so you can try that one and it's actually less calories i believe it's 140 calories um but it has this similar amount of protein and not a lot of sugar. This one actually has a little bit more sugar than the other one too. But I haven't spoken about Built Bar in a while. They're, they're my favorite protein bars. It's the only protein bars I will eat, to be honest, that I don't gag at because I feel like a lot of protein bars have like a chalky aftertaste and I can't... I really can't take that. Now, they do use some flavor alcohols in their products. So if you're sensitive to that, then you might not like these either. But I really love them. And I think they, they're they whatever the actual flavor is on the bag, nine times out of ten, it does taste like that. Um, realness, I totally got gypped because I feel like my other bar had three um, brownie chunks. But you see those little chunks right there? Those are little brownie chunks, and it just makes it extra delicious. Um, these are covered in real dark chocolate, so it's not like some fake gross chocolate. <laughs> so there it is cut, but see how it's kind of like a, it's a marshmallowy texture. They made it kind of brown looking, so it would be associated with the cookie or the brownie batter. But yeah, it's like kind of squishy, and there's the little brownie piece on the top. It's just a trend that I only talk to you at the end of the day lately. Um, I wore my heart sweater today. Got this off Amazon like a year or two ago. Got myself a free Chick-fil-A Diet Coke with my points. That always makes me feel good. And I actually got a free eight count chicken because in the Phoenix area, up until tomorrow, you could get a free one on your app. So I did that for lunch today, Chick-fil-A Friday lunch. But back to the, I love how I talked about eating Chick-fil-A and then Built Bar. I'm going to be super real with you guys. I stopped talking about Built Bar for a little bit, not because I stopped liking them or enjoying them. I just wasn't eating them as much because um, I kind of got burnt out. Like I ate them like almost every single day for a long time. Well, not every single day, probably every other day at least. And I just kind of got burnt out on them for a while and they were like piling up in my fridge and so I was like, okay, I need to start having these as like my little treat again, like I used to do, um, or sometimes as a meal replacement. I don't really do that anymore since I fast until one o'clock usually. Um, but yeah, I was already having a little piece of this because it's so good. It's Saturday morning and I'm actually going to be going to brunch with a few friends this morning. We're going to Whiskey Row for Carissa's birthday celebration, a belated celebration. Um, we're getting brunch there, having some mimosas probably, maybe walk around a little bit, who knows, but of course I'll take you guys with me. I'm just wearing, I haven't worn headbands all week, which is funny for me. It's like my signature thing lately, but I did put one of these headbands on today since my hair was not giving me full volume. That's my like trick for when my hair's not voluminous enough. I throw a headband in and it gives it like a little extra lift.
And later that same day, I went to Target, Bullseye Spot, and the Valentine area. My mom actually went a little bit of shopping with me. I thought these perfume bottles were so stinking cute, but I resisted the urge to get them because I already have a lot of decor, but they're so cute. I definitely suggest those. And then I did get this really cute ceramic lip because um, I want to put my lip glosses in it. I just thought it was really cute, but they had so many fun things for spring. Look at these for like recipe cards. And I love these mug and coaster sets for gifts. They would be so cute. And these Valentine mugs. My favorite was this like one that had a chili pepper on it and said too hot to handle. That would be so cute as a gift. And these Galentine coupon books, really fun to give a friend. Um, but overall they had so many cute things I had to share. Saturday night, I went with a friend to this really good Thai place in downtown Chandler called Charm. If you've never been here, I definitely suggest it. It's a smaller place, but really good Thai food. I had pad thai, my friend had like a red curry, and I really wanna go back and try that next time because it was so bomb. Also had some really yummy drinks there. I would definitely go back and then down the street went to Mike Drop Mania for Mike Cannon, the comedian, and it was definitely funny. It was a good night overall. Mm -hmm.